President Trump has wanted to leave Syria for some time. He's tried to do this once before in a similarly precipitous fashion, which is why uh, former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis quit. So you don't need Erdogan to offer him much beyond saying, hey, this is our area, this is our territory, we would like to take it back. And President Trump, this is music to his ears. Um, I don't think he understood exactly what he was agreeing to or announcing on Sunday night. The problem is the Kurds have been burned once before like this. They're simply not going to trust him again. Everybody knows he wants out. National security officials around him were trying to kind of manage a, a slow departure, kind of to slow this car crash down and make it less destructive. But once again, he has showed everybody that he wants to go for the exits, and that means that our former Kurdish allies and others in the region are going to look to others, like Russia, like Syrian dictator Assad, um, as their supporters in order to survive. There's this sort of you know, Trump chaotic foreign policy where no one really knows where they stand. You know, one day he was warning Turkey of economic destruction. Uh, on Tuesday, a very different tone, at least with the tweets. Uh, here's one of them. So many people conveniently forget that Turkey is a big trading partner with the United States. In fact, they make the structural steel prey for our F-35 fighter jets. Uh, it goes on. Also remember, and importantly, that Turkey is a, an important member in good standing of NATO. And Erdogan is coming to the U.S. as my guest, November 13th. I mean, is this just the usual Trump inconsistency, or is there something else here? Well, you know, yes, Trump has done business in Turkey before he was president. Um, Ivanka Trump uh, tweeted out something about uh, congratulations to Trump Towers in Istanbul opening. Um, but the fact of the matter is he made a campaign promise that he wants to leave, Tur uh, leave Syria, and he does want to improve relations with Turkey. Um, and therefore, all of this fits into the pattern of um, – him looking for the simplest way out. And then you can see what happened after he got his military briefing um, Monday evening. He ratcheted back from some of his quick reverse once people had a chance to explain to him the fallout. And once also Republican lawmakers in Congress started beating up on him. That's what he paid attention to. And that's when he tried to modify his previous moves from Sunday night.